Today, I'm gonna bring in the Cisco 4K camera. It's a USB camera that we're gonna open up. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what you get. First of all, it says Cisco WebEx desk camera. So it's pretty much for your Zoom calls, team calls, any kind of calls that you're gonna have over the internet. This is probably a good camera for you. So we're gonna take a look at it and it says a 4K camera. So um, it's a little heavy, has some weight to it. I'm gonna open it up and put it to the test. So what you get, you get a couple of cables. You get two cables here. They give you two USBs type C uh, and then another one to type C. So you get two of them. It takes directly to Cisco connection. So we're gonna see how to connect this and put it to a test. So here we are with the Cisco camera. We're capturing uh, the full quality of the cam. Um, there's a couple of options you can do, change the certain settings in here and there, but we're gonna do a little test. I do have a green screen in the back, but we're gonna do a little test where we're gonna distinguish the colors and see how well it works. So first of all, legible stuff. We're gonna see if it's legible. Actually, this is a lot better than some other cameras. I can actually see the whole thing in there. Uh, if you can see and read some of the lettering. It, it's pretty good, and the audio is coming directly to there. And then we're gonna do the color test. Um, I like to do this to see and compare it on a real screen where it actually shows you the full color. So that's not bad. Um, the audio is coming up pretty good. Uh, the settings pretty good. Um, we could turn off a couple of lights here. I'm gonna turn off an overhead light, and I'm also gonna turn off the lamp that we currently have here. And then one last light. Let's kill it. So this is an overhead light, little tiny LED light that's coming out of it. Um, it turns me red in, in darkness, but it, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not that bad. So we're gonna turn the rest of the lights on. That's one light. And I got like three lights around me, so. Now we're gonna actually change the zoom in and see if the quality, if we could zoom in to capture only the frame of the actual green screen. So let's go ahead and do a green screen test. All right, so I zoomed in a little bit more so you guys can see a little quality of it. it. Actually, it's pretty good. Even if I zoom in, the quality looks good. Now let's go ahead and do a filter on it and we're gonna do a green screen on it. So let's go ahead and go filter, go chroma key, say yeah, agree to it and hit apply. So if you can see the city behind me, I don't have the same problem as other cameras where the shadow interferes with it. It doesn't reflect back. It actually captures pretty good and in the quality of it, you can see some of my details of it. A little shininess because of the light, but I could kill one of the lights to a little bit better, and that actually brings in more shadows, there, as you can see. So you're gonna need a lot of lighting for the green screen. And if you don't have enough light or any kind of like um, reflections, you're gonna have some problems with the little, if you can see the static right at this an angle. But overall, it's looking pretty good. I like the little Cisco camera, it's great for, video on video chats um, teams and everything else but overall if you guys have any questions or any comments let me know i'm your host frank the tank and we're out